Hey guys, welcome back. For this video, let's do something completely different from our regular videos. Let's look at Hong Kong from the bird's eyes view. And I'm not talking about rooftoping or anything crazy like that. But instead, let's take a chopper all the way up to the sky. This is my second time inside a chopper. My very first ride was back then when I was in Hawaii. The chopper was called uh, Magnum PI. And if you don't know who Magnum PI is, well, I guess you're not that cool. Now, this video was taken like almost two years ago on the last day before they pull out from the Kai Tak base. Well, the Hong Kong Aviation Club have been using the area um, since 1998. But because of the city development, they have moved to the Kowloon city, which is slightly further out. So why didn't I post this video earlier? Honestly, I don't know. I, I didn't even remember this video. Now, as you all know, Hong Kong is a seriously densely populated um, neighborhood. There is approximately 7.5 million people living on this small island. Just look how congested the place really is. It's really incredible. It's like we are living in a sardine can. And believe me, the rental in Hong Kong is extremely expensive. Hong Kong is crowded, but at the same time, approximately only 30% of the land are used for um, residential or commercial use. Quite a lot of small islands in Hong Kong, but these small islands, they are nothing like, say, Phuket. Well, in my opinion, there isn't much to do other than, you know, hiking. Actually, it's a great place for hiking. Uh, I'm just too lazy to walk around, that's all. The chopper actually feels really filmsy, so I had some serious adrenaline rush. I was screaming quite loudly. Luckily, it was too noisy to, to record my screams. I'm using the Nikon D800 uh, with the 24 1.4 and also the GoPro. I haven't touched my uh, the Nikon cameras for quite some time. I don't know. Um, I mean, for video, I'm using the Leica SL and the GH4. For the still shot, we're using the, the Fuji GFX. For some reason, Nikon is no longer sexy to us. Both Kamen and I, we are a, a big fan of uh, Nikon. But for the past five years or so, um, Nikon hasn't been coming out with anything interesting. We're just looking forward to buy something from Nikon again. Come on, Nikon, we need some fun cameras. It'd be nice to see the 28Ti, 35Ti, the F3, um, even the FM3A. I mean, we would seriously get them all if Nikon start making them again. I personally believe Nikon's greatest strength is making, uh, at least one of the greatest strengths they have is uh, making film cameras. So guys, what do you think about Nikon making film cameras again? <laughs> and I'm not referring to the FM10, that's not made by Nikon, so I'll consider that as a fake. Right now, I'm still using the FM2, this FM2, but the D800, oh man, we, you know, we haven't touched that camera for ages. Well, I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm looking for a completely redesigned brand new film camera, or a camera that does really great uh, video. Well, just because a camera does 4K doesn't make it a great camera. It needs to do a lot more than just 4K or 5K. In all honesty, the D800, even though it's fairly old, um, it does take like very decent video. But the funny thing is, we're not too crazy about its image quality in terms of still shots. It appears Nikon is losing its sight. Either that or its marketing campaign is getting to be really outdated. We expect more than just sharpness or the pixel density in a camera. What we want is, I want to feel good. I want to feel important. I want to feel good looking when holding that camera, even if I'm not using that camera, even if I don't know anything about photography. <laughs> I mean, just look at Leica, I look good. Or oh, I think I look good when carrying a Leica. Call it a fashion statement, but I feel that this is what Nikon is lacking. And I agree, I am being completely shallow. So guys, let me know if, whether you agree with me or not. I don't know exactly how much it costs to ride on a chopper. Um, I was invited for this joyride, so it didn't cost me anything. I guess it's good to have friends. <laughs> um, Alright guys, that's it for this video. I will see you guys next week. Bye!